Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to continue the Media Player application. We're going to create the Media Bar class and add that to our player. So let's go back to our project and we're going to add a new class. We'll name this Media Bar. And so the media bar class that we're going to create is going to extend HBox. HBox stands for horizontal box. It's part of the JavaFX package. Um, and it's a horizontal box that uh, we're going to put at the bottom. We'll create the default constructor first. And that is going to take a media player object. And the reason why we're going to include that is so that we can control it from here. We'll import both of those, remembering to import JavaFX. Some objects that we're going to have here are sliders, one for the time, and another for the volume. Let me add those. and import those. Another thing we're going to have is the play button. And we'll set that to be a pause button actually. Since we're going to start our video right away. We also need a label for our volume slider. And a media player for this class. And the first thing we'll do in our constructor is we'll set the player here to the player that we're creating the class with. Now what we're wanting to do here is we're going to need to make this look right. Uh, if we just add these sliders and these labels, um, they're not going to look formatted correctly. So we want to you know, make that nice and slick. So the first thing we're going to do is set the alignment of this H-box to center. And we'll create some padding. Now another thing for formatting that we want to do is set the sizes. So we want the time bar to be the largest bar and the volume bar to be a little smaller. So let's set the preferences for the volume slider. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set a preferred width. We'll set that to 70, and then we'll also set a minimum width, and we'll do that for 30. We also need to do this for the time bar. 
but we'll do it a little differently since this uh, needs to have the highest priority. And we'll do that by um, putting in hbox.setHGrow. We'll put our time slider in and priority is set to always. We also need a preferred width for our play button. The reason why we need that is because when it switches, it is going to switch size. And we don't want that to happen. We want to look like the size is static. So we'll set preferred width to 30. Okay. And the last thing we need to do for the volume bar is set the value to 100. The reason why we're setting it to 100 is because that is the default value for the player. Now that we have all these set up, we're going to add these to the media bar itself. And since this is the class that we're using, we can call get children directly. And first is going to be the play button. We want to do them in order so that it looks right. Next one is going to be the time slider. Then we need the volume label and the volume slider. Okay, so now that these are added to the actual media bar, we need to create a media bar in the player. And we'll do that before it starts playing. And we need to make sure to pass it our player. And so here we have our border pane again. And we'll actually add the bar to the bottom. To do that, we put set bottom and our bar into that function. Make sure we got everything set up correctly and hit play. And our bar is at the bottom. So now we want to add some color to that. So we want to have like a nice gray to separate the video from the bar. We'll add about 30 pixels to the video. And we want to set the color from our border pane. So here we can set style we're going to use an FX background color and we'll set that to this hex color. And we'll see if that makes it look right and so now it does so the buttons don't have any functionality we'll create that functionality in the next video